Hey, my name is John McLaughlin, and if you're a Forex trader, if you trade indices, if you trade Bitcoin, that sort of thing, then the chances are you probably use MT4. Now, today's video, I'm going to talk about how to apply the pips counter, uh, the pip counter you can see running in the background there, um, to your MT4 accounts. Very quick, it's very easy to do. Um, just one thing, if this is the first time you visited my channel, uh, then please subscribe, and if you're going to get some value from this video, then don't forget to comment, like, and share as well. All right, let's get started. So what you can see here running in the background, the digits in blue are the individual pips, and the pips are showing either profit or drawdown uh, for the individual um, trades that are placed. So if you trade a number of different trades on there, it will show up and it will show the individual amounts for those trades. And the digits in green, they're just showing the total profit or loss for that particular time. So what I'm going to do is show you how to download this software and configure it on your MT4. So the first thing you want to go and do is download the software. So if you click the link in the description, it's going to bring you to my site um, and to this article. Now this article, it shows you exactly how to uh, go through this process of putting the software on your MT4 step by step. So not only have you got the video, but also you've got the article to accompany that video as well. First thing to do is go to where it says download the files here. Now the files themselves, I've called it the Pipsometer pack, uh, and it's a zip file. So as soon as you click that, what it's gonna do, it's gonna download straight away. What you wanna do is when it downloads to your computer, is just click it, so it's gonna open up, and then click on extract all, and then find a suitable place to uh, put the files so you know where they are, so you can use them uh, in, this, in this process. Okay, so I'm just gonna click away from that. So once you've downloaded the files and you've saved them to your computer, go over to your MT4, okay? And then go over to where it says files, click on open data folder, and then you wanna click on MQL4, and then click where it says indicators. And then all you need to do is find those two files and copy and paste them in, or you can drag them into this so you can see that the first file on my MT4 is here and the second one, the pipsometer, is, is here. Okay, so that's what you do. Just either copy and paste or just drag them into this particular file. So once you've dragged them in, okay, what you're going to do, so you're going to go to Navigator, where it says Indicators, you're going to right click and you're going to click on Refresh. So once you've refreshed your indicators, they'll show up in the, nav the navigator side and you'll see it from there. There's the pipsometer decimal and also the pips two. And all you're gonna do is you wanna click and drag them onto your chart and they'll show up. Now the other thing you gotta look at is if you see the chart here, um, you'll see that there's a, there's a gap. I've left a little gap so it's, it gives me a little bit of space as uh, the, the chart data and the pipsometer isn't gonna clash. And what you wanna do, you wanna go up to this little tab here and just click that. So if I click it again, it's gonna close it, um, but obviously there's, it's gonna impede or maybe clash with this data from the pipsometer. So we don't really want that. We're gonna click on here again. It's gonna indent that. And if you see this real small arrow here, we can then customize the fit to whatever we want, whatever our own preference. Um, the other thing you can do if you really want to is you can change the colors. Um, I don't really see why you would, but you can change the colors if you want. And you can also change the location to different corners of there as well. The, the final thing to do really to finish all this off is to save the chart um, as, a, as, a, as the default. So if you go to charts and if you see template and you can save the template. So usually if you've got a favorite strategy, uh, you can name the strategy in there and save it. Um, and then every time you come in, you can open that particular chart. Um, but what, what I tend to do is, if you see this where it says default.template, if you're happy with this and you want, if you're happy to use this every time, uh, every time you trade, then save it as default.tpl, and then every time you open the chart, it'll open exactly how you want it, with the pipsometer and with all your settings saved. So if you're using MT4 and you want the pipsometer, just as it is on the screen right now, then that's how to download it and configure it to your MT4. Hope this helps. My name is John McLaughlin. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you got some value from this, 
then comment, like, and share. We'll talk soon.